let us now continue with the design of square bunker so from step 5 we have to continue resume that is design of hopper bottom so first we have to find out the direct tension that is wt cosecant theta theta we have assumed it as 45 degrees wt is the weight of the material plus weight of the hopper bottom self weight of the hopper bottom that is the total weight weight of the coal they have given us 300 kilo you may get doubt when we are designing hopper bottom why we are not taking the weight of the material at this portion only because uh, it is said to be the total weight of the material inside the bunker is imposed upon the hopper so we have to take the entire weight of the material here weight of the coal plus weight of the hopper this is the self weight of the formula for self weight of the hopper a is a dimension topper dimensions of the hopper b is a bottom dimension of the hopper h is the height of the sloping side we can find it out the by the pythagoras theorem substitute all the values you will get this t is the thickness of hopper what we have assumed here there is nothing but thickness of the wall same total load on four walls is that is w coal plus w hopper at 353 we got 300 plus 53 that is on the four walls so we have to check the weight on the each wall so that is load on each wall shall be 353 by 4 that is 88.25 kN so this is theta as we have assumed theta 45 degrees then there is no problem we can continue with that direct tension wt cosecant theta wt is 88.25 kN theta is 45 degrees T is here 88.25 cosecant theta uh, that is uh, 45 degrees to uh, T we got 127 kN tension per meter run we have to see that is tension by length length is 3 meter after that we will get this value after getting tension we have to find out the reinforcement according to that so sigma st is uh, T by sigma st into 42 uh, that is if you substitute all the values you'll get this value as 184 mm square now we have to check uh, the AST with the minimum reinforcement which is 0.12 percent of the cross-sectional area so if it is more we have to provide the minimum reinforcement so what actually we have calculated is more than minimum reinforcement then we can proceed for the, uh, the AST we have calculated otherwise we have to provide the minimum reinforcement minimum reinforcement is greater than what we got here so we have to provide the minimum reinforcement that is 6 mm diameter bars at 240 mm center to center in the direction of the sloping faces next normal component of the coal pressure at the center of the sloping faces so as uh, we have horizontal pressure and vertical pressure we have a normal pressure also which is perpendicular to the sloping slab so that is given by this formula pn is gamma h into cos square theta plus cos square phi into sin square theta if you all the values are known gamma is a 9 kN per meter cube h is a hc plus hh by 2 plus hs by 2 hc is the height of the central portion cubical portion hh is the height of the hopper hs is the height of the surcharge we have to find out the height average height is this find it out and see here pn is if you substitute all the values here you'll get this pn as 27 kN per meter square now find out the normal component due to the weight of the sloping slab that is wd cos theta wd is given by this formula that is this if you substitute all the values you will get this thickness is 0.18 this is just like the walls same 24 uh, kilo newton per meter cube that is the density of the concrete as we are uh, calculating the self weight of the sloping slab wd cos theta is this much after getting substituting all the values total normal pressure is given by addition of these two normal component due to the self weight and normal component due to the weight of the material inside it that is 30 kN per meter square now find out the maximum negative bending moment formula is this pl square by 12 l is the effective span again which is bc plus bh by 2 bc is 3.5 bh is 0.5 meter as uh, this is a hopper bottom plus t 0.18 after this we will get 1.93 meter that is the effective span find it out as we are talk, uh, talking uh, about hopper we have to see this we are we are taking 
uh, the mean effective span. See here. PL square by 12 we have to see. That is the maximum ending moment after substituting the value we got it as 9.31 kilo newton meter. Effective depth available is 150 mm as we have calculated initially. Reinforcement AST is m by sigma st jt. So you know how to find out all the values. Sigma st is a design constant. Permissible stress we have assumed 230 newton per mm square. AST is this much after getting all the values. Use 10 mm diameter bars at 260 mm center to center at the corners we have to provide horizontally. Maximum positive bending moment at the center. Center is different. We have to provide in this manner. After, get, after substituting all the values here, we got this. Reinforcement is AST is equal to M by sigma STJD after substituting all the values. AST we got 150 mm, uh, mm square. Now let us check again with the minimum area of reinforcement that is 216 mm square. Now use 10 mm diameter bus 260 mm center to center of the span. Here it is. it has to be provided at the center. Now provide the edge beams 300 mm by 300 mm connecting corners and columns at the top and junction of the vertical wall and sloping slab in order to provide more rigidity to the structure. That's all. This is how the reinforcement looks like. This is how we are providing. This is, these are the edge beams. These are the reinforcement. At the corners it is different and at the center it is different. See this and check all the reinforcement details and cross check whether we have found out is here. Exactly it is here. Look at them. Just look at them. That's all.